Hey, we're back. We just got the hen from the ogre. And we're going to start heading back to Lilot now. She's thankfully very close. Uh, so we can give the hen to her and hopefully she'll let us free. Oh. Hey, out of curiosity, what was the name of the uh, the good witch from The Wizard of Oz? Glenda. I wonder if that inspired the name Janesta. Well, I always wondered if uh, Larry from Three's Company was like the Larry from uh, Leisure Suit Larry. Because they both look alike and they both act very much alike. Maybe Larry's just a sleazy name. No Wait. offense to those named Larry. <laughs> I think you just lost one of your viewers. Yeah, I know. What viewers? <laughs> <laughs> what a good girl you are! Well, lot of gushes. I really ought to give you your reward now. She pauses and you wonder what she's up to. A lot goes on to say, but I have just one tiniest bit of a doubt left. Hmm. If you do just one more thing for me, I'll be completely convinced of your innocence, and you'll receive a wonderful reward. Hmm. Somehow you don't quite believe her. I want to have Pandora's box. It is said that whoever owns it would be in possession of the purest evil. Hmm. Well, Lot's red eyes glow as she exclaimed, With the power and evil of Pandora's box, I would be unstoppable. Your terror returns as you realize what an evil being Lot really is. You wonder if you should be helping her in this way. But what can you do about it? Nothing. Right now. I don't know the whereabouts of Pandora's box, Lot tells you. You must search it for your, yourself. <laughs> Again, she orders her henchmen to take her away. Alright, now we're in another sticky situation. We've got to figure out how to get Pandora's box. And honestly, right now I'm trying to think, okay, what's the next thing I'm supposed to do? <laughs> uh, let's see. I do have an idea of one thing we can do. But I don't really want to do it. <laughs> so I think I'll hold that for later. Um, hmm. Well, let's venture around a little bit, and maybe we can figure out what we're supposed to do. Well, you got an axe now. What do you do with the axe? Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm going the wrong way. I know what we're supposed to do. That's right. That's right. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I can go up this way. Now my dress is wet. You know what? I never really noticed this, but it looks like the house has hands. Oh, wow. <laughs> I never noticed that either. <laughs> See, I tell you, you just you find something new in these games every day. I guess that's why their replay value is really high. It's a stone. <laughs> it's a very lifelike stone. Alright, here we are in this frightening place. Let's look. You have come upon a bizarre group of scary human-like trees. A thick forest of pine trees surrounds this strange group. Steep mountains block your way to the west. East. Right? <laughs> oh, east. <laughs> east? I thought you said weast. What kind of conversation are you reading there, lad? <laughs> okay. What is that from? <laughs> Spongebob. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, scary forest. 
<laughs> now, what happens here is if you touch these trees, you really gotten yourself out on a limb this time, Rosella. But it. Yeah. Uh, they will grab you, which apparently kills you. And brings up Roberta! Roberta! <laughs> okay, um, so what we need to do is we need to use something that trees are very afraid of. And if you remember in the last video, we got something that trees are very afraid of. And if you don't remember from the last video, you might have heard me mention it earlier. It's the axe, not the body spray. Although I'd be afraid of that too. Hey, I use that. Uh, I hate that stuff. <laughs> the trees tremble at your might and are frightened by your axe. They will not bother you further. See, look. Ah, take that, jerk. I have an axe. Even though you could grab me and kill me right now. <laughs> I just thought that bit of stone was really weird. It kind of sits there. Stones do that. Oh, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is the part side where you can't really go. That's the east side. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, here we are at this strange cull skull. Cull. I was thinking cave, and I said, <laughs> instead of skull, I said cull. Alright, this is a strange <laughs> skull cave. We're going to save it because um, I tend to die at this point, but I think I can get it this time. We'll see. Skull. I used to make, you do this. I used to make my brother do this all the time because I was so terrified. But I still am. <laughs> This is a dismal and dreary cave. Within it reside three one-eyed old witches. In the center of the cave, over a hot fire, boils a foul-smelling brew inside a large black cauldron. I hate this part. So, what you just saw was the, uh... Whoops. This witch here gave the eye to that witch. And if you look, they have one socket per witch. So, let's look which. Three old one-eyed crones inhabit this dreary cave. They possess a glass eye, which they pass from one to another, that enables them to see. Through the glass eye, they each in, in turn peer at you with a frightening mixture of curiosity and malice. And they're like cheering each other on here. Alright, there we go, and... No! That always happens to me. I don't get it. I'm supposed to get the eye, but I, it, they always grab me. You knew you needed a hot bath, but not this hot. Ow. I can only imagine how much that hurts. Oh no! no it's Roberta! Roberta! <laughs> I think we just lost 10 more viewers. <laughs> We definitely lost her. <laughs> Look, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Roberta Williams. If you are actually watching this, I really want to meet you. <laughs> You're awesome. A cave bearing a slight resemblance to a skull juts out from the cr from the craggy mountainside. Huge rocks block your exit to the north, and you're completely surrounded by those grabby trees. Nice situation, huh? Alright, let's see if we can do this. I don't know. See, I don't understand. Oops. Alright. I'm gonna save here. Go. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> here. Get I. What? What? What are you talking about? Ah! Too late! <laughs> okay. See? It's really just hit and miss for me. I don't I don't know. What are you talking about? How can I be closer? Go away from me, you freak. Ouch. Maybe it's not there. Oh, I see. They're passing it between each other. Come and get me. The you right one has it. Oops. <laughs> get I. You what? have to get them while they're passing it. Oh. 
All right, folks, we just wasted your time. It's 10 minutes now, so I'm going to stop this and uh, start in the next video. Uh, sorry, but now that we know, and now that you know, we'll be able to get that eye.